Hey, what's everybody? Agumon today. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the new buff. That this enchant that was considered pretty weak, to be honest, even after the previous buffs it got, just got today. And that is Curse of the Unbidden. Of course, as you guys can see, if you look on the screen here, they decided to give it a new buff to where anytime you use this parry, right? The Curse of Unbidden parry. Anytime you use that and it lands, it removes 30% of your posture, right? So basically, it's the same as whenever you land the critical with any other weapon, but now it's on your parry. So just go ahead and hit my block real quick. I just want to, we're just going to try it out one more time. Now hit me. As you guys can see, look at how much posture that removed. That is an insane amount of posture. And if you look, it's not 30% of what posture you have. No, it's 30% regardless of what you have. So usually what would happen is if you only had 50% posture, it would go down to 35 because that's 30% of 50, right? Um, but no, it's 30% regardless of what your posture is, which is really, really strong. This is incredible for those builds that have shield or like 40 posture because you can stack up a bunch of posture and whenever you want to get removed, you can just go for spits, right? Which remove half of what you currently have and then go for an unbidden parry, which by the way, if you didn't know, the unbidden parry is a lot less of a cooldown if you actually land it. So just go ahead and swing real quick again. As you guys can see, right, basically able to go ahead and just wait until my critical attack cooldown is off and then I can use it again. Um, and so that is kind of what determines. So it's like slightly shorter. It's not too much shorter, but it is slightly shorter. And so, yeah, that's what makes Unbidden so good. So, yeah, as you can see, it just dropped from 70 to 30% right there. So, yeah, this is definitely going to be an enchant you're going to want to use if you want to not have to really worry about your posture or ever getting block broken. I think it's actually pretty strong now. We're going to go ahead and try it out and chime real quick. I decided to switch the build to Silent Heart here. Probably because I don't really, I actually don't really like that build that I was in previously. Go in. Let's even get. Oh, dude, it's actually so satisfying seeing like your posture just drop to zero, man. Especially because, dude it's like it's spamble too bro like it's not like a, a double dodge where it like kind of goes on a longer cooldown if you do decide to use it i basically have four ways of escaping like combos now or just m1s and like anything in general nice like look at that bro look how long that gives me uh iframes for as well super handy oh i saw that come in like we can we don't even need a dodge we can just use it as like a what's it called see look at that we can just use it as our dodge as well and save our dodge if we really need to. Like on the right hands, man, dude, this this thing probably goes crazy. And it stops its attacks altogether as well. Or like Yuji, I think pairing something. Well actually it depends on the attack, I think. I don't know if um yeah, I don't know if it stops certain mantras in my Oh, we were on the critical still. Nice. Yeah, so it doesn't stop right there, but Oh dude. Man, that was quick, dude. We actually just never had to deal with even the thought of being posture broken once, that is super nice. Looks like we're going up against a stone player now, which actually would be very handy to see how this kind of enchant compares uh, to things that deal more posture damage generally. Like, we can just kind of rely on blocking a little bit more here. Yeah, like, look at that, man. And then, nice. Oh, dude, that is so nice. What I'm curious about, though, I I'm actually going to wonder if they actually do end up making it to where it's like, instead of 30% of your posture every time, if it's like you're kind of with how the, the, the critical attacks and what other regular weapons do. I wonder if they're actually going to nerf that eventually, bro, because that is that is actually such a good parry, basically. Like, we haven't really seen anything uh, kind of just be 30% outright for a while now. Oh my goodness. And he's already down. And also, one thing about Unbidden is that you can still get Aether off those M1s as well. Like, whenever you M1 them, you steal their Aether. That's like, the, the parry isn't the only thing it has. So, yeah, man, it's I, all those like buffs are starting to stack up now. Wow, that actually does a lot. Dude, oh my, using that is so annoying. I'm just gonna use my auto clicker. I I'm trying to use, uh, what's it called, the hold M1 thing, but sometimes it just doesn't work after critical, and I'm not gonna like rely on deep open, like bugginess, man. It's annoying. Oh, dude, we're on cooldown. Oh, okay. I don't know if I can actually use the embedded crit there to, to counter that. Nope, getting my posture gone. Ah, oh, dude, were we on cooldown again? I think we just missed that. Nah, we, we're we not probably going to be able to use in time. There's a little bit of starter bomb um, bit in as well. Even though it is basically a pair, I think it's not as fast as a... Well, actually, maybe it is. I don't know. For me, it just feels a little bit slower than a pair to use. Now, this matchup right here looks like it's going to be pretty handy to actually have this. Because this guy does seem to paint a lot. Nice. Nope, saw that coming. I wonder if we can actually use Unbidden on the parries uh, to get... Ooh. 
Nice. That actually la like that actually lasts longer than a parry too. Actually, that is actually pretty handy. Nice. Predicted that. Ooh, got our posture down. Ooh, stop the revenge from going on as well. Oh, that's the one off. Even though we parried it. Okay. Do not use grabbings on that. Nice. Had a lock in there for like the last like minute and just not talk, bro. I'm actually so bad when it comes to talking and playing, but managed to lock in there, bro. It was very handy just to be able to use unbidden if I met like mess up the parry timings because it was basically just a dodge. Alright, we're finally in a Virginia server, something that is really good for our ping. Whoa, looks like okay, he's going a build which has super fast swing speed. I can respect that honestly. But it looks like we're gonna need to be using unbidden a lot here. One thing about Unbidden that probably doesn't make this build the best to actually use it with is the fact that Unbidden does not count towards my uh, my parries or Silent Heart, so I'm not going to be getting those stacks as much, which I definitely should be trying to build up uh, instead of using my Unbidden parry. But dude, being able to like have no posture at all times is so handy, like bro. Also, I'm giving up like one of my forms of attack as well, so maybe do not use Unbidden on Silent Heart. But using it here kind of makes it like possible to show what can be done with it. So perhaps it's not the worst thing that I'm showing it off here with some art. Nice. Nope. One thing I like that it feels like for like a second, if you uh, pair with Unbidden as well, like it looks like it kind of stuns your opponent for like a very brief bit. So they can't like M1 back to back. Um, you, there is parry stun and it has that as well, but like. From bidding, I don't know, it just makes it feel like it's just a little bit longer than the parry. Now we can fight a contractor player, see how handy this will be against their moves here. Honestly, one thing I'll say about bidding, probably just really good for, probably just really good for just keeping up your tempo if you don't want to bend. Because a lot of times I've seen people like vent whenever they know they're about to get hit because they like mess up their parry. Ooh, like that. This build has what? Yeah, zero uh, ear addition. And like pretty much every match I've been able to keep up my what's it called uh my, my tempo is because well hey i'm learning a lot of m1s but it's also like due to the fact that i'm just i don't need to really nice oh my goodness man all right guys we're here for our last match we're facing someone who's all black wow oh wow okay it looks like we're not really fast enough to use unbidden there which is quite unfortunate but stagger that's expected honestly we're fighting with obfuscation dagger we shouldn't have to worry about it anyway best thing we can do here is just make him kind of predict parry it looks like that's what he's doing right now he's kind of pairing even though i'm not really doing anything right nice was able to cheese him right there because he's just bro he's just not even pairing he just predict pairing um that's gonna be pretty much all for the video guys um i've been it's pretty good now and i like that it's a pretty worthy enchant if you don't you can basically just negate getting block broken off together with this so that's pretty nice that's gonna be all peace